All right, welcome to Fireside Chat number 204. A um, couple of announcements for starters. Um, so, I believe these announcements all came last week, um, or some of them. But, um, of course, for starters, congratulations to Anarian. Um, who is now the newest Einigar with a title of the Faithful and um, is also the Warrior of the Month. So congrats to him. Uh, furthermore, a um, couple of additions. So one of them, um, some of you may already know of this, but the uh, member review and duties uh, spreadsheet that we've been using is public um, now or in a manner of speaking, so the way I found how to do it is I made a copy, a new spreadsheet that just imports data from the spreadsheet that we use to edit, uh, we being officers, um, anybody working on the member review stuff, um, and it just automatically imports that data. So um, basically, you can check out uh, your own progr progress through the ranks, um, your activity and such. I mean, there's obviously tools to already do that. You can use the bot and stuff, but... This way, you can see exactly what's going on behind the scenes in that regard. Um, I also updated the visuals a little bit for the both versions of the spreadsheet. They look the same. So um, hopefully it's a little, little bit easier to navigate, a little easier on the eyes as well. Um, but yeah, you can check that out in announcements. There's also several links to it in About WA, um, one being at the very bottom where it says Member Review and Duties. Um, as a general reminder, of course, we encourage people to, if you want to help out any, any officer in the clan with what they're working on, just reach out to them and, uh, let them know. And I've been, uh, as a reminder, of course, to officers to keep an eye out for, um, you know, people to promote or people that are offering to help, of course. Um, and, um, if you're not sure, if you have no idea, kind of the go-to guy with that is Ulfal, the rear admiral because he coordinates all duties in general. If you're just like, I want to do something, he is a good guy to reach out to to start with because um, he can kind of point you in the right direction or find something for you to do or, um, you know, he can bring it up to me and other COs and say, hey, is anybody looking for help, for example? Um, I often am. There's also the job board channel as a reminder. Um, usually I'm the one that's using that, but technically any CEO can post there. And that's a good way to check, um, on the one hand, what I'm working on, but also on the other hand, um, you know, things that I could use help with if you want to help out. Um, so yeah, that spreadsheet's there. Oh, and the final place it is, is also in about WA, but under ranks. Um, I believe it's, uh, somewhere. Didn't I put it? Maybe it's at the top. Hmm. Oh, no, not under ranks. It's under promotions and demotions in about WA. That's right. So you can see that read-only copy there. There's also a copy of the officer manual in there. There's a copy of the officer manual under ranks. Actually, there, there should just be one in about WA. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add that to, to job board. Okay. Um, all right. So that aside, um, the last thing, kind of in the vein of talking about job board and things to help out with, um, if anyone has ideas or assistance in this regard, um, hmm, it's interesting. Why is this bot, his nickname not showing up? Um, anyway, uh, sorry, distracted by that. Uh, but speaking of bots, actually, um, so the uh, latest bot that I've added is called uh, Yord, and it basically 
Um, doesn't do too much, but in Bot Shrine, it tracks everyone's um, voice and text activity. Same way as the stat bot already does, but this one gives you XP and you level up for voice and text. Um, at this point, we don't have anything, you know, worked out to uh, go beyond that um, as far as like something to do with the levels, but hopefully it makes it a little bit more fun. I know people like to check their activity a lot and kind of compete, so this gives that a little bit more of a fun uh, visual aspect to it. Um, I'd like to do more. Um, one of the things I'm looking at is trying to find some kind of custom economy that we can make where you get uh, currency for activity. Um, and then we can find something to do with that as well. That I think would be really cool. And that would kind of have the trade-off of you can like pay currency or use it for things, but your XP is always there. So you sort of have your you know constant overall achievement that will never go down and then you also have a kind of currency you can use um but uh regardless that's something i'm trying to look at i'm also looking at um something some way we can bring back trivia and some way we can incorporate marks into a bot some of these might not be doable um qsag suggested an idea and i think it might be the best option we have which is that we kind of make a spreadsheet a uh, page or a spreadsheet for each uh, Marine Plus member, and that's kind of their profile with all their marks and accolades and everything on there. It makes it really easy to edit and update. Anyone can edit and update it, and um, it's probably the best way to do it. As far as I've found, pretty much the only way to easily automate uh, awards and marks and such would be to tie them to emoji, which is not really doable because we have too many marks. It also kind of messes with some things we have like insignia, which are supposed to be bigger, but they would have to be the same size because they're emoji. We already only have like 50 slots or something uh, for emoji. Um, I think if we get to like a trillion server boosts, we do get some more, but still not that many. So, yeah, that's not exactly uh, super useful. And I've, I've looked through a ton of bots for this, and pretty much all of them just use emoji at best for a visual representation of any kind of awards or items. Um, so I'm not really happy with that. I think the only other way to make it so you can just check and instantly get an image that shows your awards and stuff is for us to hand make the image for every single person, which is just, um, uh, I mean, I've done it in the past, of course, uh, Stellormer um, volunteered to help, um, which I really appreciate, but I think ultimately it's just not, it's not very efficient to have to do that individually for every single person. It takes a while, even when we kind of streamline things and get it, you know, so it's like, pretty copy paste it's still a decent amount of work for each single person and you have to do a decent amount of work to update it every single time with the current system that we have as much as it's kind of cool um i think it would probably be best i think to you use kuziak's suggestion of having a spreadsheet and simply um updating that continually um you know giving a number of ceos access to update it um, and anyone else who wants to help with that so that we have kind of, uh, mm, uh, an easy system to edit and update it. Um, you still have the visual thing. Um, the only downside being that it doesn't directly show up on discord. Um, probably what we do is add a, um, which bot is that even does the profile <laughs> symbolism tracks. track cause we have too many bots, uh, Emir. Yeah, so Emir um, is a custom command bot, so it's pretty uh, useful in that regard. You can just make a custom command, so we make a command for every single member, and it simply posts a link to their page of the spreadsheet where they can go and check out all our awards and stuff like that. I think that's probably the best that we can do. It's kind of unfortunate, but... I. 
I've looked in a lot of places and I'm kind of thinking it's just a limitation in Discord functionality, not necessarily that like bot developers are not thinking of this functionality. I think that the functionality is just limited to things like emoji. As far as, you know, systems to assign an item or award or object to a person and let them collect a bunch of them and then have there be a visual, an inventory of everything they have, there's a lot of bots that do that. And again, they all just use emoji, as far as I found. I mean, I've, again, tried like three dozen of these, including most of like the biggest ones. So I think that's just the way that it's done, sadly. So yeah, and also trivia, also kind of a problem. Um, I think it should be feasible to do the trivia thing, but it doesn't really seem to exist. The closest I could find is a bot that has a limit of 25 questions, and the questions and the answers cannot be shuffled at all. So basically, you put together like a 25-question quiz, and uh, every single time you take it, all the answers are going to be the same, A, B, C, D. All the questions are going to be in the exact same order, so question number one is the same thing. Every time, you can take the quiz 100 times which I think is very boring and not how most trivia bots work, but there seems to be no center of the Venn diagram for both customization and not just just like a, a, you know, the same thing every time. Variety, I guess. So, yeah, have not found a uh, solution for that, and at this point I'm kind of thinking it doesn't exist unless we use like a quiz website again which would not be on Discord, which kind of defeats the purpose, mostly. But again, hey, if anyone has, uh, you know, ideas or suggestions in that regard, let me know. I'm always looking, have been spending a lot of time looking at those bots and configuring them. Um, but unfortunately, without too much luck, the one bright spot is that I'm pretty happy with what the Yord bot is doing. I've managed to fine tune it so it does not bother people with ping. So if people don't care about it, they can just completely ignore it. It only posts in the bot shrine channel and won't respond to people anywhere else. The visuals are pretty cool. The only downside is the customization of the profiles can only be done from a limited selection that they have on their website. If you wanna know how to do that, let me know. Um, but it doesn't let you just put any image you want, which is a little sad, but, um, that's kind of the one downside. And uh, as far as finding something that a visually looks good, B tracks both voice and text activity, uh, C does not require me to pay monthly for it or something. Um, and also is configure easily configurable. I don't want people to be spamming mead hall with the bot. So I was able to configure it so it will never post anything in Mead Hall. And I can configure the message and everything like that. So it basically ticked like all but one box. Couldn't find a better one. So I think we'll probably just stick with this. Um, and yeah, so hopefully people have fun with that. I did update one or two other bot commands. Just look at the pins in Bot Shrine under the library category. So you can check your rank with Yord with J X j exclamation point rank you can check the whole clan j exclamation point top and i also activated a couple of random commands that i remember people used to like to do so it'd be useful if you're like you just need to decide something coin flip and also roll the dice uh, heimdall actually does those so that's h exclamation point um, those are pinned h exclamation point coin flip h exclamation point roll a dx and then the number of dice you want to roll so, uh, yeah, I think that'll about do it. I'll head off to office hours. Otherwise, I'll be back next Thursday, usual time, Fireside Chat 205.